I'm definitely into the dried flower decor trend these days. I'm loving everything from dried reeds to cute bunny tail grass. And fall is one of the best times to start collecting. So today I'm gonna to show you my collection of dried flowers that I own to style my home and where you can buy or scavenge for these as well. If you're new to my channel, First, let me introduce myself quickly. My name is Sarah Nealon, and I guess you could call me a home stylist, barn picker, plant collector, and a rescuer of really cool furniture. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos like this and so that we could be friends. In case you have no idea what a dried flower is, you can dry them yourself or you could buy them dried. Or you could also cut them from the roadside when they're already dried and crispy. I'm not a florist, by the way, so uh, these are all just things I've learned from experience. But I can say that depending on the type of flower that you're trying to dry, a natural method for drying flowers is to hang them upside down in bunches in a cool, airy place and wait for them to dry or aka get crispy. So right now I'm actually trying it with a bunch of baby's breath. It hasn't been very long, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, I'm gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> Hopefully it works. All right, these are my dried billy balls. They're um, my most colorful dried flower that I own, and they're also covered in cat hairs right now. But besides for that, I didn't buy these. My mother-in-law actually um, grew them in her garden. Yeah, they're really great, super popular. You might already own these, but I just wanted to talk about them anyways. And I think what's great about these is, again, require no maintenance into that. They're fun to add to like a bookshelf if you're trying to style a bookshelf um, because you can just pop them in a vase and then it's like an instant touch of color. I don't expect you to grow these in your garden. Obviously, if you want to, go for it. But um, a great place to buy these is Etsy because there's tons of sellers that sell them. Also, you can go to like your local floral shop and see if you could buy them there. Sometimes they have to order things for you and it might take some time, but otherwise, those are some good places to buy them. One of my favorites here, and this is dried bunny tail grass. I think the name suits it. Cause you don't love me! And um, I bought this from aflorals.com, $16 a bunch. And I think it's a really good deal because it's gonna last forever. You could probably find something similar to these on the side of the road, but honestly, it's nice to have a professional do all the work for you. I just can't wait to find the right vase for this so I can put it on like a side table next to my couch or on a credenza. So anyways, can't wait for that. So the next thing is that I found this like huge grass arrangement on Craigslist for $10. Like it's a lot of grass and I don't actually like it like in the vase that it was in. So I took it apart and my plan is that I'm going to like maybe find like a better vase to put it in or maybe break it up into like multiple arrangements. But I did take a little bit of it and put it into like a thrifted vase that I had and I think it's really cute. Now, if you're not up for scavenging this on the side of the road, I would say um, easier option would be to go to your flora, florist again, or Michael's even, and look for like dried wild grass. If you can't find it there, I think there's a lot of online resources like aflorals.com that sell dried wild grass. So um, something like this is really great because you can just add it to a vase like this and it immediately adds some height like in a corner. So yeah, these are my dried alliums, and um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this flower, when it's in full bloom, is actually purple, and it's really pretty. Um, what I like about these dried, though, is that you can just like pop them in a vase like this, and it adds like a nice touch of nature. These might be harder to find, so you could try Etsy. If not, you know what, just check out your neighbor's garden, because you might find them there, and that's where I actually found these. Now I've saved the best for last and that is my bunch of dried reeds. And I got these last November, I cut them down in a swamp. It's not very glamorous, but you have to do what you have to do. And thanks to a Google search right before this, I discovered that this is called a co common reed, Phragmites australis and they grow by bodies of water. They can be found in Europe, 
the US and Canada and I think even other places. But if you can't seem to find these, a really great substitute for them is, and an even better substitute I think, are pampas grass plumes. I think they're grown in warmer clim climates, I'm not sure, that's why I can't find them here. But um, it's like an ornamental grass and the plumes are just beautiful. And for some reason though, they're really pricey. I just want to give you a heads up because they do sell them on aflorals.com, like two of them for $60. And I have no idea why they're so expensive because other sites I've seen sell them for a lot of money too. I think there's just like a scarcity of them and maybe a lot of people want them. But if you're willing to pay it, I think they're really great. Um, what I love about either one of these is that they add a nice, fun little texture to your home. So you should try to find them, I think. That's it for my dried flower collection today. Let me know if you guys have gotten into this trend too, or maybe you've been collecting for a really long time. And also let me know what your favorite dried flower is. Maybe there's one that I didn't mention. Maybe you live in a warmer climate and you've been collecting dried palm leaves. I don't know, let me know down below because I do, I really do love to hear from you guys. All right, that's it for today's video. I know this is a bit different than what I usually do and I do plan to get back to my usual adventures real soon, so don't go anywhere. Um, if you, Again, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button because you want to make it official and because I would love to be friends. All right, that's it and I guess I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.